How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Another sort of weekly update video talking about everything new that's happening in the Horizon community at the moment. New features, new updates, stuff like that. There's actually something really big that I'm talking about in this video that you guys need to take seriously. It's a new feature over on the Forza forums that barely anybody is using and it's the most important thing we've had in a very long time and it makes a massive difference as to what's coming in the future in terms of new cars and new features and stuff like that. So wait for me on that one. The first very quick thing I'm just going to quickly talk about is the new hotfix that came out a couple of days ago if you were unaware of that. People have been having issues with the game crashing and stuff like that so two days ago they brought out a hotfix which just fixed one thing and it was basically stability improvements for crashing game clients so if you've had your game crashing at all lately this hotfix may have fixed that. But as I said, the main thing I want to talk about is something new over on the Forza forums and it is called the Suggestions Hub. Now the Suggestions Hub is a massive deal and I really think we should all be on this as soon as possible and be using it to its full potential because it's so, so important. I'm going to show you what it is in a minute, show you how it works and why it's so important really. We can see just under two weeks ago on October the 13th, they put out a blog post introducing the new suggestions hub so it's less than two weeks old and i'm already seeing it not get enough attention um they gave us a bit of brief a few paragraphs explaining what it all is and how it works i'm gonna let it roll on screen if you want to pause and read it all if not i'm going to show you all anyway so if you go to the forza forums login with your xbox account you will see the suggestions hub now the way the suggestion hubs work is this is this is the main place where playground games will look for new features and new cars to come for the game and they will do this by us whether that's me or you watching this you go onto the forums and you can see on the left hand side there are a bunch of categories cars car voting horizon features car features gameplay environment music you can suggest something, suggest a feature, suggest a car or whatever you want to suggest. And then other players, such as again, me or yourself, we can then vote on these features. And whichever features and whichever cars get the most votes, obviously is what Playground Games will focus the most on adding to the game. That's why this is so important. This is the main place that Playground Games are going to look for new stuff to add to the game. Not Twitter replies, they're not going to look at that. Not Instagram comments, they're not going to look at any of that rubbish either. The suggestions hub is where they're going to look. So we need to use this. Obviously, I'm going to have it all linked in the description below. So get on it as soon as you can. So as I said, all of the categories are over on the left hand side. And then when you select a category, for example, here, I have selected car features. We can see over on the right hand side is where all of the features are that people have suggested. They've made a suggestion post and then we can then vote on it and we can see I've ordered it by the most votes and we can see that the most voted car feature is new Forza Aero with 129 votes. And if you ask me, 129 votes is not a lot. We can see that they go into detail talking about exactly what each section is. The car voting is the one of the main ones and they've got a lot of guidance as you can see on screen about how the car voting works and what you should do and what you shouldn't. It then talks about all of the features and categories as well. So if you want to suggest a feature to do with painting, you can see you need to go to car features. And if you want to suggest a feature that's to do with just driving around, you need to go to the gameplay category. So there's lots of categories to fit everything. And there are also lots of sort of rules that you need to follow or guidelines to make your suggestions as good as possible. You can see on screen right here, it says, be I'm not going to read them all out, but it's self-explanatory really. Don't make a post that has like 10 different suggestions on it. Get one really good suggestion, make a post about it, be brief, but be quite precise as well. Make sure they know what you're suggesting. Make sure that everybody else, such as me and you, know what you're on about so I can read it and think, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to vote for that because at the end of the day, it's the ideas with the most votes that they're going to consider. Not only ideas, but cars as well. Now, if you want to vote for a specific car to come to the game, don't just make your own post saying, oh, I want the Lamborghini... I don't know, I can't think of a car that's not in the game now. Don't just make a post asking for that car to be added. What you need to do is go to the Car Voting Guidance Index, where they've set out sort of a thing explaining everything to do with cars. But then if you scroll down, they have got a list of pretty much almost every car that exists. 
it's not quite every car that exists, but it's a lot of cars, as you can see on screen. And there, the chances are that the car that you're wanting in the game may very well be on this list. You can then further just click on it and click vote. It's as simple as that. If there is any car on this list that you want in the game, just click on it and click vote. And if lots of people vote for it, it will appear at the top of the list. And obviously Playground Games are going to try and add it. For example, the McLaren Senna GTR. Just click on it and click vote. This is so important that we do this. We can see if we go over on the left hand side and click on car voting and then order it by votes, we can see exactly which cars have the most votes. We can see we've got the Lamborghini Sium, we've got the Mercedes SLR McLaren, the Toyota Yaris, and the Nissan 300ZX. Quite a few good cars to be honest. And these are all of the cars with the most votes. So once again, if you see any cars on here that you really want them to add, go and vote on it. Even if it's at the top, vote why not it's going to show them how much we want the cars in the game as i showed earlier if you go to car features order it by votes and see which features have been suggested the most interior customization everybody wants interior customization it's only got 49 votes what are we playing at we need to be using this forum so they can see what we want so get yourself over to this forum guys, it's so important that we use this, they brought it out for a reason, it's been revamped just a couple of weeks ago as I said, and it's just not being used enough. So a couple of hundred people on this forum is not enough, we need tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of us on this forum voting for the truly best ideas and best cars to see what's coming. Now speaking about what's coming, obviously we are within update 13 or series 13 at the moment. Series 14 is next. We already know that the next update is Donut Media related. It's gonna have the Donut Media Horizon story. It's gonna have Rocket Bunny returning and it's gonna have a few new cars and stuff like that. Other than that, we don't know much, but what we can do now is go back to the Torben Tuesday from last month and use what we know to see if we can figure out anything else. So this part of the Torben Tuesday were the clues for Series 14. Now we know that we're getting Donut Media in Series 14. I've not figured anything out myself, but do you guys see anything here that could be hinting towards or clues towards what Donut Media cars are coming? What Rocket Bunny kits are returning? Maybe Astra Lepus is to do with a specific Rocket Bunny kit that's coming back? Or even Ooh La La is a specific kit? You get where I'm saying we know that that's in series 14 now. That information might help us figure out even more of these Torben Tuesday clues. So as I said, I've not really figured anything out myself, but if you guys can, obviously make sure to put them in the comment section below. What do you guys see here? tells us more about series 14. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much everything for this week's sort of update video. Get, your, get yourself on the suggestion hub right now. It needs to be used. The next update is series 14, comes out in a couple of weeks I think, we'll hear about it next week, so make sure to keep an eye out on the channel for that. Leave a like if you enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, I'll see you all later.